on saying we're in your prayer. Good morning, viewers, to Morning Glory, a devotional program that is brought to you by MTM Television. My name is Diane Hansen, your host, and today we're going to be sharing with you on the topic Parenting God's Way. And with me today is my dear friend and prior partner, Minister Juliet Grant. Yes. And just before we start on, on, on the topic, we just want to share a little bit more with you about Minister Juliet. She is the co-founder, along with her husband, Reverend David Grant, yes. of Odija Services, mm -hmm. which is really a ministry that is geared towards youths and young adults. Am I yes, correct, Minister correct. Grant? And what they really do is to, to nurture our youngsters and help them and guide them in the right path. And yes. she's also the mother of two sets of twins, who are basically the young, young adults themselves. Right. And of course, she is the finalist of the JCDC Gospel Competition over 10 years ago. An amazing woman of God, an awesome singer. And Julie, thank you so much for joining me today on Morning Glory. Well, Dan, it's a pleasure to be with you. You know that all the time. Yes. Yes, it's always a pleasure to be with <laughs> you, my you friend. Thank you so very much. And um, as it is said that we're going to be dealing with parenting God's way, and it's really a passion of mine right. if we, as, as parents, we can get it right. Mm -hmm. Because if parents get it right, then mm -hmm. children, children ultimately will, ultimately will get, get it right. right. That's my belief. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely say that I would have failed in some areas. So I, I'm not sitting here carrying on as if I've been, you know, Miss Perfect Mom and, and I got everything right. Because yes. um, even one of my young adults was able to share something with me the other day that I got wrong mm -hmm. while I was growing them up. Okay. So I'm not sitting here carrying on as if Juliet got it right all the time. But for the most part, the Holy Spirit has really helped me mm -hmm. to journey with them. Amen. And I, when I look at all four of them loving the Lord and serving God in different sphere as leaders, right. it means that we have done something, something well right. by the Spirit of God. Amen. And I want to say that you can go to university and learn about becoming a doctor, a lawyer, mm -hmm. an accountant, but there's no university that you can go to to learn about how to become a good parent. And this is why it's important that we go to the Bible. Amen. Yes. And try to do it God's, God's way. way. Right. That's the reality. Yes. And so I believe the Lord has helped me to journey, my husband and myself, really just journey along that path, that path mm -hmm. to, to raise up four youngsters that is really in love with the Lord. And so I just want to share some of those things with you today. Right. You know, some of those things I just really want to pour into you. And um, we see how best we can raise better Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. And then a, a world at large. Amen. Because, because MTM MP is also in other characters. Right. And we know that they're watching there right. right across the region. Good, good. All right. So a nation, as a nation, some of us mm -hmm. have missed some things in the journey of producing and developing godly, God-fearing children. That's right. And some of the problems that I've encountered is that we as adults have not yet submitted ourselves to God. Mm -hmm. And so it's very difficult for our children to submit to God when they don't see the example. Right. And so um, the encouragement to us this today or this morning as we speak mm -hmm. is that we first as adults have to come to a place of submitting to God. Because as we submit to God, then our lives become an example. And we don't have to push the children. Mm -mm. They'll see it. Because they live what they learn. Right. Mm -hmm. And actions speak louder than words. words right? So it's more than, it's more than telling them something. It's being able to live it. Mm -hmm. So as, as we as adults live it, the examples are, are clear before them. Yeah. And even if they go into schools and, and stuff like that, and the pressure is on, and it feels as if they'll never make it, the fact that home is stable mm -hmm. and settled mm -hmm. and know what home is about, mm -hmm. The other things outside becomes minimal. Right. Yeah. Because they come back home to safety. Right. They come back to a place to where, a nest, where there's yes, comfort. Where there's and comfort there's and there's right. And there's truth. Mm -hmm. And there's the and and, and and there are days when we have to apologize mm -hmm. because we did something wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. Because so pa as parents, you know, sometimes we do get it wrong. As you have indicated before. Oh my goodness, yes. Dan. So sometimes we really, really get it wrong. And, and, and what I'm happy for mm -hmm. all the time, I tell people that all the time, mm -hmm. I am so happy for the Holy Spirit because he's the indicator. Right. He's the one that sometimes prompts me to say, Juliet, you did the wrong thing mm -hmm. and you need to say sorry. Right. And sometimes in my black Jamaican head, <laughs> I'm like, 
parents apologize to <laughs> children. Yeah, the ego. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then, but, but because I, I mm -hmm. declare that I love the Lord, then I have a responsibility to obey Him. Amen. And the more I obey Him, is the better parent I became. Amen. And I'm proud of the parent I am today. I am Without happy, doubt. Yes. Without doubt, doubt. Yes. For well, wonderful children. <laughs> yes. Right. So we want to read at this point in time mm -hmm. because what you're saying is really scriptural. It's scriptural. And so we want to share from the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, God's perspective as how we are to, right. to, to grow our children. And I'm going to be reading from Deuteronomy 6, the mm -hmm. first seven verses. And it says, these are the commands, these are the commands, decrees and laws the Lord your God directed me to teach you to observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. So that you, your children, their children after them may fear the Lord, your God, as long as you live, by keeping all his decrees and commands that I give you, so that you may enjoy long life. Hear, O, children, sorry, hear, o Israel, and be careful to obey, so that it may go well with you, and that you may increase greatly in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your fathers, promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. These commandments I give you today are to be upon your hearts. And then it goes on to say, impress them on your children. Mm -hmm. Talk about them when you sit down at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. In other words... Every conversation that we have with our children, children must lead back to God. To God, exactly. And so it means that we can't or should never compartmentalize, mm -hmm. you know, what we do with our children. Right. So church is church and church is on a Sunday or mm -hmm. on a Wednesday. And then Saturday you can do whatever you want. But we must teach them we must or impress upon them mm -hmm. the word of God. The word of God. So it's a constant flow. So whether, and the scripture says whether you're laying down, uh -huh. you're walking on the street, uh -huh. you're sitting. Uh -huh. So there, um, there's a responsibility that we have as parents uh -huh. to consistently do something. And let me highlight verse 4, uh -huh. and it says, love the Lord thy God with all thine heart. Uh -huh. So the first word there that I want to look at is Lord. Yes. And it says that we must love the Lord. Uh -huh. And then we have to find out who is this Lord that we need to be loving. Mm -hmm. He is the creator of all things. Mm -hmm. He's the one that made you and I and caused everything to exist, to breathe, Amen. to live, and to have dominion. Mm -hmm. God said we must love him. And Lord means ownership. Ownership, amen. Whatever this Lord says. And we can also look at the kingdom in, in, in England. Right. The, 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 the king and the queen, the queen yes. they are lords over that position. Mm -hmm. And they give directions to the servants and guide them. So God created the heavens and the earth. And so he is the lord of, of all of this. Mm -hmm. And he said that we must love him with all of our hearts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I look at the word heart. Mm -hmm. And it means, Diane, mm -hmm. um, we must love the Lord with all our heart. It's the primary organ That's right. of our circulatory system. Amen. And the, the heart is what pumps the blood right and through us. The, yes, and <laughs> keeps us alive. It pumps the blood right through every system of our being. Amen. And so God is asking us to love him like that. Amen. Let that love flow Amen. out of us to him. Mm -hmm. Because if it flows out of us to him, then our children are going to feel the effects of it. Of it, yes. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we will want to obey him. Right. And in obeying him, we would want to raise godly children. Exactly. Yes. So it's very, very important that we love. That's the first, first thing. Yes. Love the Lord with all of your heart. And then it says in verse 5, mm -hmm. and love him with all of your soul. Mm -hmm. And the soul is the rational, mm -hmm. emotional faculty in mm -hmm. human. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The part of reasoning. Amen. The part of us that gets tired and mm -hmm. weary and angry yes. and um, suffocating mm -hmm. and and all of the these emotions. little emotions, yeah. God say, even in those emotions, I want you to, to love, love me. me. Yes, yes. Even when you feel angry still. that I still that I do something that you don't appreciate, mm -hmm. it's still your responsibility to love me. So when we learn to love God in the midst of those difficult moments or good moments, mm -hmm. it, it begins to go down to our children mm -hmm. because they see it. Right. 
and and, and I, this is what amazes me to Sister Juliet is that he talks about us loving him first, even before he tells us what we are to do. Come on, with the children. With our children. Yes. And therefore, there's a pattern there that is laid down for mm -hmm. us to follow. Exactly so. Right. So, so we, we have a responsibility to love him first. Yes. Because if we love him first, then the children can learn also to uh, love him. Right. And also, we can love our children too, even when they are doing things that are contrary to what we ask them to exactly. do. Exactly. And that is some of the issues with parenting. Mm -hmm. We tend to show favoritism. Mm -hmm. We tend to be biased or we only love them when they do or do treat right them well. When they do when, the right when they, thing. When they do the right thing. Can I share a quick story? Yes. All right. I, we only have one son. And um, I remember when he was about like mm, six, seven, somewhere there about, mm -hmm. he would just leave his shoes in the middle of the house. And I'd be like, Joel, you know, you have to take up your shoes. Typical Jamaican. Typical, <laughs> yes. And we'd, I would carry on for days. And this boy would still leave the shoes in the middle of the house. And one day, I heard the Spirit of the Lord say to me, teach in love. Mm -hmm. And I knew who he was talking about, mm -hmm. and I knew what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. So the next morning, the shoes were still left in the middle of the house. And I'm like, son, you left your shoes in the middle of the house. Please go and take it up. Yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. For sure, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to say, boy, one <laughs> more time. <laughs> but yes. um, God gave me the grace to be mm -hmm. able to say, yeah. you left your shoes Please go and take it up. He yeah. took it up and he said, thank you, mommy. There you go. And in my head, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> he left it there the next morning. Yeah. Son, you left your shoes in the middle of the house. Please yeah. go and take it up. Okay. And it consistently went on, went on like that for a period of time. Yeah. And the Lord gave me the grace to respond the same way. Amen. Diane, that's not normal. Amen. That has to be spiritual. Amen. Because we don't operate like that as human beings. Amen. Once children are disobedient to parents, children get it Amen. Yeah. Mm? Yes. right but God gave me the grace to walk it with him Amen. and at the end of that season one morning I looked and it was not in the middle of the living room yeah. and my son was free of me talking right. and so was I Amen. I became a better parent my anger level went down to the ground mm -hmm. because that's what God was after yes. he was after my anger right and sometimes we, we only think it's a p children are problem, right. but there's always a me to learn and you to learn. But there's more command in the Bible as to what parents ought to do. Mm -hmm. Because there's another verse that talks about do not provoke your children, children to wrath, to wrath right. or to anger. Mm -hmm. And so parenting is something big. Definitely. And it's something that I don't believe any of us should take for granted because the word of God said children are an inheritance right. from, from him. Mm -hmm. And so parenting is important and getting it right, you know, and doing it God's way. Because if you do it God's way, you yield the, the right the ritual, and, 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 and the rich reward. reward. Yes. And your example that you just shared, you have reaped the reward. Mm -hmm. you know, so much so that you can testify right. today about what you have experienced. Mm -hmm. Viewers, you have been watching Morning Glory and we have been talking about parenting God's way. We're right up on a break at this point. Join us after the break for more of Morning Glory. MTM, dynamite television for the Caribbean. Welcome back to Morning Glory. And Minister Juliet and I have been sharing on parenting God's way. We looked at in the first segment of the importance of parents loving God. Right. And so we want to share in this next segment on um, loving God with all our might, yes. as the Word of God has indicated in Deuteronomy 6, and how we should teach our children. Right. Because there's a way that the Bible said we ought to teach our children. Exactly right. so. Mm -hmm. So it says, love the Lord with all thy might. Yes. And that means exceedingly forceful. Mm -hmm. hmm? Abundant muchness. Mm -hmm. That's how God is asking us to love him. Him first, you know. The parents he's talking to, him said, we must love him like this, with muchness. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> we give it our everything, our yes, all, yes. Yeah. our strength, our mm -hmm. energy, our, mm -hmm. our effort. And what, what I recognize to Dan is that we'll give our workplaces, mm -hmm. we give our bosses, mm -hmm. we give mm -hmm. everything else muchness. Mm -hmm. We give it our energy, our substance. Mm -hmm. And when it comes down to God, oh, I'm yeah. tired. 
I can't go to church yes. today. Yes. Work. I'm just so. It's not. It's not a, he's not a priority. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're not loving him with our might. Right, yeah. My encouragement for us in this season mm -hmm. that even in the smallest of energy and strength that we have lived out of our day's work, can I encourage you to give God that? Mm -hmm. Because it's in giving him that, that little that is left of your might mm -hmm. that he replenishes Amen. you and then enables you to go home to children that you can nurture Amen. and raise up because you have a replenished strength. Amen. So it's important that you give the little that is left Hallelujah. of your day's work mm -hmm. because it's important that as you give him that, he gives back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken, shaken together, Hallelujah. and running over. over. New strength Amen. to cope with whatever it is that Amen. you have to cope with. So, so it's important that you give the Lord your might. Yeah. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Yeah. And um, also, I want to share with you briefly mm -hmm. on some of the love character. Because mm -hmm. we That's hear it so often yes. that we must love, but then we really don't know what it really means to love. Yeah, we, can, and we can have a, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. so I want we you to have a little understanding understand. of what love is. So from 1 Corinthians 13, mm -hmm. it says, love is kind, mm -hmm. it is patient, mm -hmm. it's not easily angered, mm -hmm. it's not easily provoked. Mm -hmm. These are characteristics Keeps of love. Keeps no record of wrong. Keeps no record of wrong. <laughs> <Not puffed> up. <laughs> so yes. are we really getting the love character right? Yes. You know, as 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 a people, I don't think we have gotten what re what love really is. Mm -hmm. It's not and just a feeling. It's right. It's not just yes. an emotion, no emotion that make you feel cushy, cushy and uh, yes. oozy, oozy. But right. it is it's it's a lifestyle. It's who we are. Yes. So um, I want to encourage us to take time out to check our own love, you know. Yes. Am I really loving? Am I really kind? Because um, if we are, if we, and we have to first do it, find it in ourselves, ourselves you know. Yeah. We find it in God and then it connects with us Amen. as adults. Mm -hmm. So we then can pass it to the children. To the children. But if we don't have kindness yeah. and... We can't and impress upon their hearts if we don't have it. There is no way and it's going to yes, happen. Yes. Amen. So, and then when we learn to love, God, mm -hmm. learn to love ourselves. Then we can love others. We can love others. Mm -hmm. So I want you to check out First Corinthians thirteen and okay. tick off. Am I kind? Yeah. Am I <laughs> all of these things? Yes. And and when we begin to check them off, then we can see where we, what we need to be working on. Amen. That's to make us better, better people. people. Yes. yes. All right. So. The next point we want to talk about is how should we teach our children? How should we teach them? Yes. All right. Um, one of the way is from the same passage, mm -hmm. and it says, teach them diligently. Mm -hmm. And when I look up the word diligently, it says painstaking. Mm -hmm. it takes, it's going to take every effort, mm -hmm. every energy, and every substance that we have. That is why the love is important. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a love endures all, all things. things. <laughs> yeah. So so we're going to teach them diligently. Mm -hmm. We're going to teach them um, when we walk with them on the street. Like sometimes, when, I remember when the kids were small, and we were walking on the street, and I look up and I see the bright sunshine, and I say, you know, you know who made that sun up there? And they're like, God! <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be maybe sitting at home, listening to, um, listening to songs, yeah. and, and I would say to them, um, there are songs that glorify God, and there are songs that don't. Right. So while they're home, I'm still teaching. Mm -hmm. And I said, there are songs that glorify God, and there are songs that don't. And I say, okay, let's listen together. Mm -hmm. So I don't leave them out of the listening process. That's right. So I said, let's listen together if this song glorifies God. And um, we'll listen. And then I say, the other aspect of the song sounds good, but this part of the song is speaking of suicide. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to sing this one. Right. So they learn, they learn. Yeah, they learn gradually right. which song to choose to listen to. Right. And as adults, they still make choices to sing songs that glorify the Lord. Because they were taught that when they from were very young, from early. Young. Right. So what we want in their older stages, we have to first plant it in the, in the, in the, in the young the stage. stage. And um, I also learn that you have to be consistent with your teaching. Right. So you can't teach one thing today and do something else tomorrow. Right. 
or because your, that brings or, or confusion your actions is or your action to what, to what you you're teaching, teaching. right? Mm -hmm. So there has to be this level of consistency because they're looking on. Amen. They're really, really looking on. I'll I share always another. believe that children are sponge. So whatever is happening in their environment, they absorb the, it. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll share another quick story. Um, most of my stories about my son because he was the one that was most time out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember um, he would come and say, "Mommy, I can't go and play football." And I'm like, okay, go ahead. His father come around later on. Where's Joel? Oh, I sent him to play football. But I told the boy, no. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so we recognize that, yes, he was outsmarting the both of us. So we learned that. So you know what we did? Mm -hmm. We just back and back. Yes. You can't come round us now yes. because we're going to get this yes. thing, boy. Yeah. And I remember just being David and I coming together to stand like that. Mm -hmm. So he would come again after we made the decision of how to handle him. Yeah. He would come, Mommy, I can't go and play football. Excellent. What did your father say? <laughs> and he was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> So we know father said no. So, so yeah. mommy said no as well. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to raise the children God's way, mm -hmm. as parents, father and mother, mm -hmm. we have to be in a, a, a good Unity. team. Yes, yes. We and must be a good team. And you raise a very good point because oftentimes the mother is saying one thing and the father is saying something right. else. And in, in the child's mind, they figure that they can yeah, you know, they, work them way through. And they're going to find the, the loophole. Oh, exactly. yes. They're right. going to find that parent right. who will give them the blight all the time. Right. Right, but when when you become a force to be reckoned with, the children understand that, mm -hmm. and they know they can't just twirl. They're smart. They're yeah, smart. Most God them made them smart. smart. Yes. <laughs> so if they're smart, we have to act even smarter. smarter right. <laughs> so it's very very important that we 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 stand together as a mm -hmm. team. So that's teaching again. Mm -hmm. um, so it's important that. As you lay down to sleep as well, mm -hmm. that you still teach. Yes. You know, you laying down. Let's go. And, let's pray. And, and, and I want to ask the parents: When last have you read a bedtime story mm. to your child right. or your children? I'm talking a Christian story mm -hmm. now. Or you allow the gadget or the television to put them to sleep. Wow, 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 wow. Yes. And you know that's easy now. Oh, yes. That's so easy because mm -hmm. most of the time we are so tired. Oh, mm -hmm. God, I want to sleep. Mm -hmm. Or we are so busy that we allow the gadget to take the place of, the, of, of us parents. Yeah. But I will definitely tell you the kids need us. Yeah. They need the direction, they need the guidance, and they, most of all, they need our love. Mm -hmm. I think one of the major problems our kids are having right now is lack of attention. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're not giving them much attention. Yes. Um, the other day, I saw a suicidal note mm -hmm. of a 15-year-old girl who wanted her parents' attention repeatedly and didn't get it. And then male family members came in, abused her sexually, mm -hmm. and she eventually killed herself. Mm -hmm. And she left the note to say what was going on. Mm -hmm. And out of that, mm -hmm. even as an adult mother mm -hmm. with adult children, because my kids are now 25 and 27, I recognize that I have... Age, yes, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I understand that I still have a responsibility to them. Mm -hmm. So even after reading that, I recognize that I can't just leave them there because uh, even though they're adults, they're still walking through stuff. That's right. So what I'm doing now is like sometimes I go into their bedroom and I just rub their head and say, how are you doing? How's my girl today? Mm -hmm. Are you good? You mm -hmm. sure? You know? Or mm -hmm. I might rub a leg. Somebody might be feeling mm -hmm. pain in the back and I give them a, a massage because it's important that they feel the sense of need. need. Yeah, right. they, they, they want to feel it even though they might not ask for it, right. they want it because we are humans. And the communication is important, yes. ensuring that the, the, the line of communication remains open. Yeah. Another point I want to raise, um, Sister Juliet, is the whole thing of praying with your children. Mm -hmm. Because oftentimes, or sometimes, some parents feel that they don't need to pray, play, pray with their children mm -hmm. because they're too young right. or they're so busy that they don't have the time. But it's important that it your is, children hear important. you pray yes. and that you pray along with them mm -hmm. as well. And also play with them. Yes. It's important that we play with them. We used to play volleyball, cricket, mm -hmm. outside in the front yard. Right. And the neighbors looking on and see the crazy grants. You know, <laughs> just, <laughs> just doing some crazy stuff. But those were some of the things that bond. 
bond you yeah. and keep them with joy, give them yes. joy. So they don't have to go outside and look see right. outside of right. the home. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important that we really spend time with them, quality time with them. Some of them um, don't want quality time, but they, they love a gift. Mm -hmm. Some of them are giffy. They, yes. want, they want the light up when they get a gift yeah, from you. Yeah, that's their interpretation of, of appreciation. Love. Right. And love, right. Yes. And nothing is wrong in giving them gifts, but mm -hmm. gift cannot substitute for love. For the attention. And for the attention. Mm -hmm. Give can't replace mommy, daddy, or a guardian. And I just want to say that parenting is not just for biological mother and right. fathers, but it, the Bible talk about a, 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 um, a community, mm -hmm. you know, growing up a child. And we, I, I don't, I'm not a, I, I'm not a biological parent, mm -hmm. but certainly I've helped to parent others because it's Beautiful. important right. that we nurture the next generation Amen. and that we leave a legacy or an inheritance for yeah. them so that they can, can carry on. Mm -hmm. And even same Deuteronomy that we read when it talks about impressing upon them yes. or impressing them on your children that is God's love is that if you don't have the love to impress whatever is in you is what you're oh going to goodness. impress upon that them is so true. and this is why sometimes the parents will give the child a branded shoe or the bag or whatever they ask yes. for because at the end they can brag to say I mm. can give my child this but I'm not saying not to give it to right. them, but, but that the, aim, the, 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 the love is important. Amen. The love, the love. The word of God said in John 3, 16, which most of, most of us, most of us would have learned yes. at Sunday school, is that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever uh -huh. believeth in him should not perish. Love is important because it's through God's love why he sent exactly. Jesus. Exactly. And it's through your love that you're going to save the next generation. And so the responsibility of parenting is such an awesome one. Very much so. It's such an awesome one that when you have parents who have been there and have had four wonderful children, amazing children that are making such a tremendous impact in the kingdom that we have to bring them on the program so that they can share with us, right? <laughs> you know, their experience and not just their experience, but the word of God yes. with us. Sister Juliet, thank you so very much it for joining me with you then. in studio, <laughs> <laughs> talking about parenting God's way. And we trust that our viewers would have learned something mm -hmm. new about the love of God and about parenting God's way. And we are basically out of time right now, but we just want to close in prayer. I don't know if Sister Juliet want to close in prayer. Yes, I'll do And so. we just want to give God thanks for such an awesome time today. Hallelujah. Father, we just want to thank you that you are great and mighty and that you are all powerful. And there is no shadow of turning with you. Amen. Father, we can trust you. Amen. We can trust you. And as we learn to trust you, Father God, you are the one that guides us and leads us into truth and, and then enable us, oh God, to establish that truth. And so we pray in the name of Jesus for parents who are hurting this morning, Amen. those who are struggling, those who, who feel as if it's the wrong thing I did, oh God, to just even thought of even getting a child. Father God, we ask that you walk into those spaces this morning and begin to heal the brokenness and heal, Lord God, the places, oh God, where they have become damaged and cause them to go back to the word. Cause them to go back to the truth. Mm -hmm. If it's even to just look back over Deuteronomy chapter 6. Father God, we ask this evening, that, that this morning, that you will impress it upon their hearts. Oh God, that they will be able, Lord God, to overcome and raise a generation unto your name. Lord, we just thank you for this program. And we ask Almighty God that you continue to bless it and use it for your glory. And we give you praise for it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you again. Thank you viewers for watching Morning Glory with us today. And we invite you to share your feedback with us, and you may do so by emailing us at mtmtv.admin at gmail.com, or you may give us a call at 876-754-3299. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, God bless you all. God bless. Let it rain, cause you rain to fall on me, so all